Coming up in the Bahamas tonight, we're hours away from nomination day. And as the final leg of the 2012 general election campaign begins, what can we expect? Who will nominate? A 12-year-old loses his life and his brother in hospital after accidentally being shot. The story tonight surrounding this tragic ordeal. And the government making good on a million-dollar promise to help youth social programs throughout the country. Details straight ahead. The Bahamas Tonight starts right now. Covering the islands of the Bahamas, ZNS Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news is brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. It's great to have you with us for the Bahamas Tonight National Report. I'm Clint Watson reporting tonight. In a matter of hours, all political candidates who have been hard on the campaign trail and others will officially nominate to contest for the 38 constituencies in the general elections come Monday, May 7th. Now, those seeking office have to comply with a number of legal prerequisites. On the eve of nomination day, our Janae Noel Ferguson spoke with Parliamentary Commissioner Errol Bethel, who explains the process. Persons vying for a seat in the House of Assembly after the next general elections must first be nominated. With tomorrow being nomination day, Parliamentary Commissioner Errol Bethel says candidates should have all their documents in place. Persons who are intending to be candidates should at that time submit their documents to the returning officers in the various constituencies. And the documents that they should submit would be one, the nomination paper, which should be signed by at least five persons who are registered as voters in the constituency where they are. And we would like for the names to be clearly written out so that we can identify the names and possibly the registration numbers also. And that's not all. Bethel says that those nominating to contest the 2012 elections must declare their assets and liabilities, as well as those of their spouses and children, and a notarized form stating that they are qualified to be elected, plus a $400 deposit. They must also have a symbol to be identified by. As you nominate, what you will also do is that you will indicate to us if you belong to a particular organization and you would bring some type of letter to show that you are part of that organization and that you are entitled to be using their symbol during the election. With the FNM, PLP and DNA all running 38 candidates for each constituency, that already amounts to some 114 candidates. This plus smaller parties and independent candidates will swell the number. Bethel talks about the returning officers stationed at the nomination centers. A returning officer is somebody who is responsible for the conduct of an election in a constituency. Returning officers have been appointed they have been assigned and they should all be in place for tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Nomination centers close at 12 midday and candidates must be gazetted within two days. If candidates do not have the necessary documentation in place and on time, their nomination application will be rejected. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS News. Well, young people 18 to 25 years old and women make up the two largest voting blocks and could prove pivotal to the outcome of upcoming general elections. Tonight, Giovanni Stewart has a breakdown of voter registration statistics ahead of the May 7th vote. Just over 172,000 people have registered for the 2012 general elections, 95,309 women or 55.4 percent, and 76,740 men representing 44.6 percent of those registered. 18 to 25 year olds account for the largest voter block with 28,971 potential voters or 16.8 percent. After the youth block, voters 41 to 45 years make up 11.1 percent or 19,088 registered voters, followed closely by 46 to 50 year olds who tally 10.96 for registered persons over 60, 61 to 65 year olds are out in front with 4.7% or 8,112 potential voters. And get this, there are 44 potential voters over the age of 100, 15 men and 29 women. 
Turning to the voter spread throughout the archipelago, New Providence has the largest group of registered voters with 118,189 or 68.7%, while Grand Bahama and the rest of the family islands are virtually even split. Grand Bahama has 26,993 or 15.7%, and the remaining family islands 26,885 or 15.6%. In 2012, 38 constituencies will be contested with 23 in New Providence and 15 on the Family Islands. Baines and Grantstown leads the register count nationwide or 5,962 registered, followed by Angliston with 5,678. The lowest number of registered voters in New Providence is in Elizabeth and that's 4,759 registered. In Grand Bahama, where five seats are up for grabs, the central Grand Bahama constituency is the biggest voter block, with 5,649 people registered. Pine Ridge has the lowest, with 5,058. In the Family Islands, North Abaco leads the numbers with 4,436 registered, while the Meguana, Inagua, Crooked Island, Acklands, and Long Key or Michael constituency having the smallest family island voter block with 1,366 potential voters. Parliamentary officials say those numbers could change marginally overall as corrections are made to voters' cards and other factors like deaths are accounted for. Giovanni Stewart, ZNS News. Well, ahead in the Bahamas tonight, tragedy strikes a family as two sons injured by gunfire, one of them fatally. The story when your news leader comes right back.